Welcome back. Metro Trains has admitted a simple power failure last night caused our entire network to shut down. Trains were at a standstill for 30 minutes, leaving thousands of commuters stranded across the city. State political reporter Matt Gallant has more. It was a chaotic night. Every train across the network ground to a halt. Obviously not good enough. It's going to leave a lot of people stranded. It probably should be better seeing as everyone's paying a premium price for their ticketing. The culprit, a power fault at the city building that houses the train network's control room. The blackout sparked an emergency alarm. That forced operators to evacuate. Because we lost external power to our building, we couldn't confidently get eyes across all of our networks, so therefore the trains went into stations and stayed there. 90 trains were stuck on the tracks for 30 minutes before staff could return. But even after the system was back online, the pain was still being felt by passengers. I sympathise with I'm so sorry that we did this to you and we'll do everything we can to make sure it doesn't happen again. The infrastructure has to be more resilient. They have to look at solutions to this so it doesn't keep happening. Metro Trains will work with the power company to investigate what caused the fault. But the opposition says the shutdown shows just how vulnerable we are. If this is going to continue, then we need to have it fixed. The government needs to intervene and make sure that Metro is doing that work. It's not the first time the entire rail network shut down because of a building fault. Last year, a water leak stopped all trains for nearly an hour during morning peak. Matt Gallant, 10 Eyewitness News.